Hello, I'm Brett Agan. I'm with uh, Emerald Pacific Yachts here in Seattle, Washington. Today I want to bring you the 29-foot Beaver Picnic Launch. I want to do a full walkthrough description for you so I can try and bring the boat to you. I'm the official importer for North America. Uh, the boats are handcrafted over in Holland and then I can help import them into the United States and Canada and deliver them to your house. To begin with, we'll start on the outside here, kind of just do a quick overview. So it's a solid fiberglass hull, and it actually has a fiberglass structure underneath the, the, the teak decking here. So it's fiberglass uh, underneath the teak decking, fiberglass, solid fiberglass hull. You see the teak decking, you see the mahogany trim, the rope rub rail, which is a signature feature of the uh, Beaver Picnic Launch. That has a stainless braid in it, so it's cinched in, and there's a ratchet in the engine compartment that ratchets it into place. We have twin diesels with shaft drives, and I want to mention that because the boat's super easy to maneuver. So here on the bow area, we have uh, LED docking lights, and we also have LED navigation lights. Up on the bow, we have our uh, bow rails, we have our windlass with the up foot switch with a uh, nice stainless anchor. So here you see we have the uh, a custom windshield that I had done here in Seattle. It comes with one from the factory. I like to do a custom featured one. I also have a bimini top for the boat. It's currently back in the slip. Here I have the, uh, the points for the, uh, the bimini top. This clips in and it covers uh, about three quarters of the cockpit space. Here at the transom of the boat, obviously you see your, sweet, you see your swim platform. I have a swim ladder that folds out drops down. Below that are two underwater lights. On this particular boat, I had a tow eye installed here, and this is your uh, stern LED navigation light. I'll show you the core sample here in just a minute to show you what came out when we drilled this hole for this piece. There's also a uh, flagstaff base here, real nice uh, mahogany uh, flagstaff that comes with the boat. We have two diesel fuel tanks and the fill caps are here, port and starboard. So a quick overview uh, of the exterior cockpit space. Obviously here you have the sun pad cushion, that's the engine room hatch. I'll open that here for you in just a minute. Uh, you can see all the custom cushion work I had done. And then obviously the helm. I've got the uh, table out to, show, to demonstrate that to you as well. And next what we'll do is go into the engine compartment. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift the uh, engine compartment hatch here for you. It's hydraulic, single ram. I have a, a finger switch here at the helm. There we go, that's all the way up. Okay, here we go. Here's the uh, engine compartment. I've opened up the uh, aft seating in the cockpit to show you our access points. Uh, very simple to get to the uh, engine uh, oil dipsticks and check your oil. I have battery switches right here because there's two batteries just underneath the floor right here. Here's our engine compartment. Twin 220 horsepower Yanmar diesels. There are two of these in the United States right now and the other one has 220 horsepower Volvo diesels. You have your choice to select between either Volvo or the Yanmar product. You can see the two fuel tanks. I'm almost full of fuel, which is good. Vetus uh, mufflers, your sea strainers, raw water sea strainers. Port side, you have your diesel furnace, which is an option I installed, had installed at the factory, uh, so I could have a little extra heat on the boat. I also want to just point out very quickly the uh, sound insulation that you see in underneath all the hatches. When you're underway, the boat is extremely quiet, so it really helps. The uh, insulation they put in really helps with the, the noise levels. Makes it very, very nice and pleasurable to be cruising with uh, a pair of uh, twin diesels in here. Okay, now I'm going to close everything up. Now what I want to do is show you uh, just the electrical system. It's, just, it's all DC, so you have your small electrical panel here. I've got navigation lights. Uh, the docking lights, underwater lights, interior lights, the horn and the lift, refrigeration, water in the toilet, and exterior lights. The exterior lights I added uh, here in Seattle, they're LED lights that go underneath the trim here, uh, all around the cockpit and the aft sun pad area. Also, I should point out, because it's DC, we just have a simple battery charger. So all we do is just plug the boat in. All I do is just plug the battery charger in, and that's all there is as far as power to the boat. Best feature of the boat right here is the center helm station. All your guests are able to sit around you while you're cruising. Um, you know, primarily you're gonna be cruising seven, eight knots, just tooling around uh, and picnicking. So here's our center helm station. Some of the features, your Yanmar engine displays, digital Yanmar displays. You have your electronic engine controls. I have my bow thruster switch here in the center, rudder angle indicator. And I shipped this Garmin uh, GPS 547 to the factory and had them install it. 
I have a horn switch here, ignition below. Over here on the side, I had a, a USB port installed so you can have your cell phone charger handy. So here's a uh, core sample that came out of the transom when we put the tow eye, when we installed the tow eye. This is the, the sample of the core that came out. You can see the fiberglass and the mahogany. That's about an inch and a half thick. Down below on the helm, I've got my diesel furnace control head, bilge pump control switch, and then the engine room switch. Okay, I'm gonna show you the storage underneath the uh, port side. As you can see, I have a fender rack system here on this side, line holder, and just all my cleaning supplies are over here on the port side. Real large cabinet here. Same for the starboard side, so lots of storage. You also have storage under the floor below the table. In this space here is our water tank and our holding tank. So up forward here is the refrigeration. I have two refrigerator drawers. They hold quite a bit. So here's my port drawer and then my starboard drawer. Here's our cockpit table. It stores underneath the starboard seat. Uh, so the pe uh, pestle as well comes out and stores uh, underneath the seat. And then as you can see, it leaves open. Nice, beautiful teak, varnished teak table. Do your picnicking and dining and entertaining right around this table. Even a card table. I have a set of deck cards as well. Just a few more features here. You can see I've got uh, port lights, port and starboard going into the cabin. Also have down here uh, speakers for the stereo system. Okay, now we're gonna go inside the cabin. Okay, down inside here, cushion V-berth uh, with a filler cushion. I'll go ahead and show you the, the head. You remove this piece, slide this piece out of the way, and here's your electric toilet. You just push a button to flush it. Again, it goes into a holding tank. We also have a deck fitting to empty the holding tank. Uh, this piece also comes out. So there you go, there's your, your toilet, electric head. We have storage underneath the cushions, port and starboard. Let's try and just lift that up. The bow thruster on this particular boat is in the cupboard or in the hat underneath the hatch up forward here. You also have uh, access to the anchor chain through the hatch up forward. You can see the two shelves here and then also the primary shelf going all the way down the side. We have a sink over here on the starboard side. You've got real nice long V berths. Uh, somebody 6'6 six, six can easily sleep on these berths here if you want to. You have four LED overhead lights. You've got the two port lights for fresh air. You've got the sink, the electric head, very comfortable space. And again, on this one, I, I like to go with a diesel furnace, so I also have heat coming in this cabin as well. So now we'll do a start up so I can just demonstrate the maneuverability of the boat for you. I'll start the port engine and the starboard engine. And just like that, we're ready to go. So now I'll take you for just a little 360 spin off the dock to show you how easy the boat is because I'm using electronic controls. So as I mentioned, I have a bow thruster on this one, so I can cheat a little bit, kick the bow off, and then with the electronic controls, I can just spin this, this transom right off the dock. I'll do a quick 360 for you. We have a seaplane coming in for landing.
So that's our, uh, our in-depth look at the 29-foot Beaver Picnic Launch. I'll put up my uh, contact info for you on the screen. Feel free to give me a call. I'll be happy to take you out for a test spin and talk to you a little bit more about this great boat.